Hey, my beautiful ghouls and spooky ghosts. Welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. And today I'm doing a what's brewing, what's up, a kind of oracle of the day, if you will. So just keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, so let's get into it and see what's brewing. What is up? Oh, well, these two cards kind of want to come out. Oh. Parenting, focusing on your children, co-parenting. Okay, and we have trash, throwing away, getting rid of, tossing out. Ooh, ouch. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more energy here. Tell me more about this situation. Tell me more about this situation. Is there more messages for this group? Is there more messages for this group? Tell me more about this. So I feel like this could have to do with somebody you have children with. Or this could have to do with people talking about your parenting. Sorry, I have to move my hair. Um, and uh, this could be people judging your parenting. Um, getting a few different energies here. Going to take these two. We have standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself. Okay. And then we have the insecure card. Uh, so, yeah, th this is kind of... Um, Woo, this is kind of a, a hot energy. Um, it feels very judgy. It feels like um, mm, toxic. Let's grab the toxic uh, Oracle deck that I use. This is the Toxic X-Files, uh, the Abyss Tarot TAT, and Vibe About It LLC. They're the ones that created this deck, and I use it all the time. So let's talk about this toxic energy here. Let's talk about it. Um, feels like family you know, it, it could be a friend, but it would have to probably be a friend that is in your family, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like there, there's someone here standing their ground. This could be you about your parenting, about the rules of parenting, about like, no, we're not going to do this because it's unfair to me or it's unfair to the child or I won't get to see the child or, you know, I pay you this alimony, not alimony, child support. Um, and, you know, I want to see, you know, the clothes or I want to see what's going on or, um, you know, uh, you keep telling me I can't, I don't get my weekends or whatever this is, or it could have to do with um, rules around, um, you know, how you co-parent. Um, and this also is energy of people trashing your name around how you parent, okay, um, or how your child behaves. Uh, this is getting ugly. Uh, this is getting into like judging your child, judging you by your child. Um, this person's very insecure who's doing this. This person has deep-seated insecurity issues um, that run... Uh, I'm seeing like into the family tree is what I'm seeing. Uh, we have, ooh, uh, we have uh, spicy videotapes. Uh, they extort people and control by using spicy uh, photographs, which were initially shared privately. Okay, so um, I feel like this person thinks that they have something on you. Not necessarily the spicy photographs, although that might be the case, but I feel like you're being judged for being like, um, like perhaps the way you dress, uh, the way you present yourself. Um, people are seeing you as kind of, oh God, I hate this. This is ugh, like promiscuous or acting out or inappropriate as a parent, like the way you present yourself is inappropriate. Um, you, uh, your manner is, uh, too uh, flirty. Uh, listen, you can't win for losing with people like this. Okay. This is judgy, judgy energy, judgy, judgy, judgy. Um, Woo! I don't like it. I don't like it, y'all. Tell me more. Uh, we have Dud. Promises fireworks, but leaves others disappointed constantly. Okay. Um, again, there is this energy of going in deep on you. And I almost feel like this person is projecting. Projecting. Like, projecting their own bad behavior. Probably in reference to something with the part, your partner or your ex-partner or whatever. Um, 
because I feel like, you know, we went into the family tree energy there and it feels like the person, the partner here, uh, your ex-partner, whatever this is, like there's some issues there because of the parenting, because of the lineage. Um, there's some real toxic behaviors. Perhaps that's why you're not with this person. Um, so there's a lot of like energetic projection of toxicity within the family tree. Um, and it feels particularly nasty because no one's taking ownership here. Um, and I feel like you are, you're like, it stops here. We're not doing that crap with my kid. We're not going to do that. Like either you come correct or you don't come at all. Like don't, you judge me and you don't even really know me. You project on me what you want to be or what you think I am, but you don't really know me. Um, I think they see, they see something that's not really there. Um, I think like if you are a parent who like really takes great care of your kid and knows where they are and is just like really on it, they're going to say you're too controlling. If you are a, a parent who is more liberal with your child, they're going to say, oh, well, you have no control over your child. So I don't feel like this is a person where the scales ever balance um, because this person, these people, because I'm picking up, this could be a group, this could be a family situation. Um, these people do not want to be balanced. They thrive in chaos. And I feel like this is a family tree issue. This is toxicity. This is a, a group of people you've probably seen in either in your partner or in your ex or whatever this is, uh, that the chaos is something that they feed on um, and they bring to the table, okay? And I feel like for you, you've decided to give order. You've decided to give peace. You've decided to like give your child a actual childhood. And that's difficult when you have a part of the family that thrives in chaotic environments of addiction, abuse, uh, trauma, um, a lot of like discord and a lot of uh, just general petty, dramatic bullshit. Okay. Um, and I almost feel like there is this energy of, I reject your nonsense and I choose something higher. So you judge me, you judge this poor child here that has not poor, but you know what I mean? Judge this innocent child here that has absolutely nothing to do with this horse shit. But Time will not treat you well for that because you won't have a relationship with them because I'm not going to bring my kid around people who treat them bad and talk poorly about their mother. That's, that's insane. What do they expect? You want to pull up on Christmas and act like happy family? Well, that's a lie, isn't it? That's not true. You know, and you want to bring your kid up in honesty, right? You don't want to fake it. You don't want to want to continue the toxic pattern within a chaotic family. So what do you do? How do you, how do you how do you exist and be part of a family that is chaotic? How do you teach your child not to be that way when they go around them and they continue? You know, sometimes you have to make tough decisions and I feel like you have and you are being judged for it very harshly. This one is flipped over and it says misery loves company. Well, ain't that the truth? Misery loves company, convinces others that bad isn't as bad as it appears. Isn't that a person deep in their chaotic shitstorm? Um, triggered heavily, probably doing whatever toxic behavior they do, meaning, you know, uh, patterns of using, abuse, things like that, um, whatever they do to cope. Um, yeah, as bad as it appears. And people are better off with them instead of without them. And see, I feel like for you, you've decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do what we've done before because what we've done before has led to what? 
this. And this isn't good. It's not good for me and it's not good for y'all. We have to figure out something better. I can't figure it out for you, but I can for my kid. I can for my children. I can for me. And that's what I'm going to do. And if you're lucky, you'll get to stay in my life. If you're lucky. You know, I, I feel like a lot of you haven't written them off, but you've gotten distance. And you may be confused about like the holidays coming up. You may be like, well, what do I do? Do I go? Do I expose myself and the kids to this, this hideousness? We have two cards here. We have destroy, ruin. We have party player, party player obsession. I, I think that uh, it has been a rough year, okay? I think the planets are weird. And I think you need to follow your gut. And I think you know the answer. Um, oops, so, so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry. Um, I think the truth is within you. I think you know. Uh, some of you guys need to have, I keep pulling on you. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Are you okay? All right. Um, I think you deserve to do what calms your soul. What is good for you and yours? Okay. I really think that's the best advice one could give because every situation is different. You know, I will tell you this. I woke up one holiday morning and I literally physically couldn't make myself do it anymore. And sometimes that just happens. We just wake up and we're like, oh no, I can't do it. And that's the end. Uh, so I, my advice is to not let yourself get there, you know. If you need a break, take it. Take a year off, you know. Maybe this year don't go. Maybe next year you do. Maybe you don't go to the holidays. Maybe you show up at 4th of July, you know. Uh, it doesn't have to be all or none, okay. It doesn't have to be that way. Uh, we have black light, no show, stood up. <laughs> we have night terrors, past memories haunted. You know, it's okay and just in general, I'm not just talking about the holidays, but in general, it's okay for you to take time to heal. And sometimes that means taking time away from toxic people. Now, listen, they ain't going to like it. Okay. It's going to piss them off. They're going to talk more about you. They're going to be like, oh, they think they're better than us. Oh, they're above us now. And it just pisses them off. But the truth is, that's not what's going on here. You you don't think you're better. You're not trying to be above them. You're trying to heal. Um, you're trying to parent. Uh, you're trying to maybe even parent yourselves. Maybe this child is you. And it's not, you know, like a child you gave birth to or adopted or, or uh, are raising for a friend or whatever this is. Perhaps you're the child. Okay, and you've decided to parent yourself and your parent is saying no, you know, but the inner child is like, I have to go. I have to go. No, you don't. You don't have to do when it comes to being around toxic people, unless they're paying your bills, you know, and you have to make money and you have no other way to do it. Then you have a choice and you can say no. Will it make people mad? Yes. But it's better to, to say no in advance. It's better to say, you know what, this year, I just, I'm not going to be able to do it. I just have a lot going on and I just, I'm really tired or I haven't, haven't felt the best, you know, and I just need some downtime and I feel like the holidays are really good for that, you know. Um, and it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be the holidays. It can be any time, at any time you're allowed to say, you know what, I just, I need a break. And they won't understand. I'm not going to tell you people will understand because a lot of them won't. They won't be like, oh, they need a break. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's wonderful. No, they'll be like, all I feel because hurting people will feel rejected. They'll feel like, oh, no show stood up. Well, watch will you, when you need me. Well, I'm going to ask you, when have you really needed them? When's the last time 
You really needed anyone from this group. I'll wait. Yeah, so it's been a while, huh? And the last time you needed them, did they show up for you? How did they show up for you? Was it backhanded if they did? Was it like, oh, I'll help you, but... Oh, but I'll be there for you, but... Yeah. Or they never showed up at all. Or they only showed up to get the dirt on why you needed them. You know, maybe there's always an angle to their help. Maybe there's always leverage for them. Maybe it's just you need to show up for yourself and stand your ground for you and yours. Fill in these cards right here. Fill in this, this card. Fill in that bottom one. This one and, and this one. These? Okay. We'll take these. Okay. Oh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. We have the Chariot. <laughs> We have the Five of Wands, okay. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Swords. And we have the Ace of Swords. You know, I feel like the Ten of Pentacles isn't just about, like, money. It's about family. It's about connection. I mean, look. Look here, we have the Munsters. Look at all of them, you know. Some very different from the others. But boy, how they connect, you know. Boy, how they love each other. Um, and I feel like this really, this connection that you are harvesting, that you are nurturing, is really where you need to be focused. It's going to give you a lot of healing and balance in your life. Um, it's going to help you see the truth about your situations with this very complex family structure. And it's going to help you know where to go, how to manage, how to balance this family energy that you want to build, that you want to harness, that you want to nurture, that you want to heal. Because it's been hard, you know. There's been a lot of harshness. There, there, there's been a lot of um, struggle here. Th this is hard to heal. These are, these are injurious words is what I'm healing. Harsh words, harsh actions. You know, it seems to me this knight has, has a, this king of swords has snuck in through the window here. Like the ghost character, uh, ghost face. Um, and, and I feel like you know, comes in to kind of raise, raise a bit of hell, raise that chaos. So, you know, you go from this treachery, this kind of misery, this kind of chaotic energy, and it takes a lot to move out of this. And I feel like you have, and you're guarding it, that energy for yourself and your children, and they don't like it. And you know, these cards tell me that, you know, you're heading towards a very beautiful time. Like that family that you're trying to build, that family that you are nurturing, you know, is here. You're doing it. You're doing that thing. And you may not feel it, but it's happening. The Nine of Cups here. There is wish fulfillment energy. There is success and and rich family connections. Uh and I feel like they're growing. They're coming. Um, let's get a bit more energy on this right here. Because I feel like, you know, this is a manifesting energy. This is what you're moving towards. I feel like you're moving away from this toxic, you know, family energy. Okay, these cards kind of just threw out of the deck. So we're going to take them. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, lots of powerful energy. We have the Page of Cups here. We have the Three of Swords, and we have the High Priestess. Um, and I feel like with the Three of Swords here, I feel like this is what we're healing. This brokenness, okay? This brokenness here. 
you know, you have a brokenness with what happened. This is painful. This is hard. This hurts. No matter how you slice it. Whether it's your partner or you, this family situation is heartbreaking. Because I feel like you know that it will never be like normal. Okay. It will always be a source of heartbreak. And at some point there is this kind of acceptance of it. There's this kind of like, okay, you know, I see it for what it is. I see the truth in this. And I'm not going to allow it to take me down. Um, I'm going to understand it, you know. This is generational trauma rearing its ugly head. And I'm going to stand my ground, protect my own, um, and build a connection that's not built on this sorrow and misery. I'm going to see the truth in these situations. And we're going to move forward. And we have the Page of Cups here. And the Eight of Wands. And it feels like the universe reaches out to you with a cup, with a validation, with an energy of moving powerfully forward to a happier time. And it feels very happy here. This feels extremely happy. It feels extremely hopeful. And I think the essence to this is, is you stop showing up for them and you start showing up for you and yours. And it really starts to improve the flow of positive energy into your life. And as it does this, there is a kind of effect on other places in your life. It's like focusing on the people in your life that are important and letting go of negativity really frees your mind up. It frees your heart up to heal the brokenness. Uh, and this could be your, your personal brokenness from your own experiences. It could be the brokenness from this situation as well. Um, and what you find is you have more room in your life to move towards bigger and better things. Um, and I feel this here. I feel like uh, the universe wants to help you build bigger and better things. But there's a need here to kind of like clear out toxicity. And I got to tell you, you know, there is going to be resistance to you standing your ground and that's okay. And that's okay. They can resist you all they want, but they can't stop you. You know, they can resist. That's fine, but it's not going to stop you from moving forward. Um, because you have, you have a lot of good energy around you. It's just taking time to kind of heal and being sure to keep your boundaries up. With, with these people especially. I feel like they can be very draining. Let's get a few more cards here. We're going to get these three. Okay, we have Zombie Control. We have Lady de, la, Lady de los Martos, Acceptance and Equality. And we have the Underworld, where all things pause and begin again. And, you know, I feel like they're we were talking a little bit about acceptance and I feel like there is power in accepting people as they are and understanding that you can't change these circumstances. You can only change yours and your children's. And that's what you do here. You do what is best for you and yours. You control what you can, but you don't allow others to control you. And I think that's what's happening here. I think I think there is a self-empowerment going on and it's activating others and they don't like it. And they are talking mad shit on you about your parenting, about your appearance, about the things you do. They don't like the way you walk. They don't like the way that you talk. They don't like who you hang out with. Uh, if you have found a different religion or you've become a witch or um, whatever this is, they don't like it and they talk about it because they want to influence you to stop. 
You know, they don't, they don't like it and they want you to go back to the way you were. And the truth is, is that you've accepted them uh, to a degree uh, and you're working on accepting them as they are understanding that they can't change and you have to make decisions based on your best interests and the best interests of your children. And that's very powerful because you'll no longer spend energy working on your relationships with them. You will accept them as they are and you will move forward with your own life with the chariot here. We have the chariot going on. They won't like that because they'll see that as kind of abandonment. And, you know, to some degree, maybe it is because you're kind of in a way, I guess, giving up um, because you're not working on it. You're accepting it. And some of you guys will not be around as much. Some of you will not be around at all. And some of you, you know, will stop by a 4th of July every now and then. Um, but that's what happens. Now, for some of you, you will trigger others in this you know, in this scenario to heal. Okay. But some of you won't, you know, they'll just get angry. So it just depends. Some of you guys have siblings that you're going to trigger to heal, or you have triggered the underworld where all things pause and begin again. You know, for you, this standing your ground, your parenting, you know, your appearance, all these things, this is rebirth energy. You know, this is someone who has done the work, is doing the work and is rebirthing. And often when you're rebirthing, when you're going through a change like this, when you're doing a glow up that is more than a glow up, it's just a, a whole internalized world being manifested outside yourself, um, it's threatening to people because they see and use things they can't do or they feel like they can't do. Um, so it gets very complicated. And I, I think the truth is to focus on you, right? These miserable people are going to talk about you and they're going to judge your parenting. They're going to judge you. And there's, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. The only thing you can do is keep doing you and understand that you're undergoing a very beautiful process. And I want to say, I feel energetically that you're doing a great job. Okay. And don't let people who do this get you down. All right. Because you deserve good things. You deserve a wonderful family. You deserve a wonderful job. You deserve to have a fulfilling and meaningful life that is free of maltreatment, is free of um, abuse, and is full of love and happiness. All right? You deserve that. Okay? All right, that's what I received today. I hope this was a helpful and insightful reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of, a, of my tribe. If you're curious about my memberships, there's a little button down below. You can hit it and a little video will pop up and tell you all about it. And if you'd like to see my readings like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.